in the back garden. Hey, so today I want to talk about the Lion's Gate and the aftermath of Lion's Gate. What's going on after the fact, like after yesterday? And voila. And I was watching this video from Daniel Scranton, who channels the Arcturian Council. And what came through was that, well, really what's occurring right now in terms of our manifestation abilities in regards to Lion's Gate, is that this lion's gate, our, the time in which it would take for a manifestation to actually manifest in the, in the physical, as of this lion's gate has now been decreased a significant amount. And so in this video, they reminded, they reminded us to say, hey, if you're focusing on things that you do not want to create, they're going to manifest even quicker. <laughs> Whereas if you're focusing on the things that you do want to create, again, they're going to manifest even quicker. In a sense, this is like spirit saying, right, this is one more part of your training wheels being taken off. <laughs> your manifestation ability is, is heightening, is quickening. So what will you create? What will you choose to focus on in these times to come? So here we are. And this is what I found quite interesting about that. So here we are in the aftermath. It's now the day after, it's the 9th of August. I'm just walking along the beautiful Tulum. Yeah, it may be a sweat bath, but it's it's a nice sweat bath. It's good. I'm glad to be here. You got bananas, little plantains. And right now, I'm walking to the co-working space so I can actually be productive because I enjoy being around other people who are also working instead of just being sat at home on my own. So... Mm. So, the question remains what are you manifesting? What am I manifesting? Well, I'm manifesting I'm manifesting resources to be able to live a slightly different kind of lifestyle to what I am now. A kind of lifestyle where I can just travel to any country and just rent whatever Airbnb I want, you know, well, within reason. Although not really even within reason. Just rent a place that I really like. Somewhere where I can meditate and be in complete peace. 
and also hire a car for as long as I need or buy a car or a scooter or a bicycle I want to continue practicing yoga so that my flexibility increases and because it's funny after <clears throat> basically essentially being sat at a computer for a massive part of my life working working hard towards my goals but not really balancing that out with the rest of life in terms of like exercise or just like stretching or yoga for example as much as I could have yeah my body is not as flexible as it could be and I know that's true for many people especially men as well men tend to be less flexible generally than women so that's another thing I want to get more flexible so that I can yeah, live longer, sit down and meditate in greater comfort. What else? Yeah, I'd like a, I'd like to have a partner in crime, you know, at some point. But I don't, at the same time, I'm not really desperate for that at all. So, that will come when it's meant to. One other thing I'd like to manifest is a cooler climate. Even though this heat, where it's like 33 degrees today, and it's that Caribbean sun, that tropical sun. It's very strong. It's helpful in a way. I don't want to eat as much. So, so there are many benefits in that way. And so, going down this long strip at the end of this strip is my co-working space and I do like this walk it's nice I get a bit of shade from these trees coming down from the Sun that's usually up there at this time of the day usually up there <laughs> depending on the time I leave And the sweat is actually a good thing. It's healthy. To a point. So. Yeah. You know one thing I love about this place as well? This region. With all this jungle everywhere. It reminds me of Far Cry 3. And Far Cry 2. So much. And Far Cry 1. It's like I'm in a tropical jungle and all I need now is an AK-47. And uh... <laughs> it's even got those, like, those red and white painted pylons that they had in Far Cry 2 and 3. 
<laughs> it's just amazing. I, I love it. I feel like I'm about to catch malaria and then go stab myself with a pen and then be fine again. <laughs> <laughs> I do love this country but there's certain things of course with any country that there are what I would say is see as limitations here it's trying to find like pure spring water if I wanted to do like an extended water fast which is something that's really on my radar to manifest at the moment to gain greater uh, deeper amounts of inner cleansing Spring water is hard to find. Um, it's generally a challenge to find certain groceries, but I still have everything I need. You know, there's these delicious mangoes here, like the smaller ones, like small and they're like orange colored on the outside. Cool, they're good. And dragon fruits as well, you know, back in the UK. You'd be spending, you know, just they're, very, they're just expensive because they're a very exotic fruit. Uh, and if you're trying to like have a fruit only meal, you know, and you want to eat like three or four dragon fruits, I mean, that's quite a lot, but it is. It <laughs> you need to get your energy from somewhere, right? Here, I can go and spend. Yeah, much less. I've got these delicious ripe dragon fruits. And also papaya. I tried a fresh papaya that will be included on this video yesterday. And that papaya was... I was surprised at how nice it was. I didn't think I would like papaya because I don't... One of the very few foods in the world that I don't like is melon. So papaya is very similar. Anyways, we are now approaching the co-working space. So, it's time to indulge. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a bit of copywriting today uh, for one of my brands. And what else? Maybe do a bit of planning and that'll be about it.